Fully loaded on by Sharp Pinsky fielding and heifering with Stefan Bouchard. Monty Gelrod's other entry is 1A Nuclear Menace, owned by Brian Gordon with Cat Manzi. Brett Pelling sends out two. And luckiest horse in the world, gun that won the West, owned by Jeffrey Snyder and Robert Eunice with Ron Pierce. Two way hidden pass, Jay Randall for McCann and McCann. Three, President Lee, owned by Leon and Sarah Rutkowski with Dave Miller. Four, Man of the Hour, owned by Smith and MacArthur with Jeff Gregory. Five, El Diablo, owned by Pumatel, Ferrari, and Menino with Richie Silverman. Six, Jugular for Victor D'Elegon, Stable Nine and I in a Cone with Ross Wolfenden. Seven, Sign of the Future, owned by Topper Stable with Carl Cito Jr. Also in the second row, as well as the seven, is the eight. Chris on Nuke, owned by Kenneth Sommer, with Jack Moiseev. Exacta trifecta, six minutes. Here they come. And they're off. Blasting out of there is Jugular. Also leaving fast is fully loaded, but Jugular gets a jump on him and is steered right to the pylons with a length and a half. Fully loaded is second. And come partner, Nuclear Menace is third. Five lands quickly to President Lee in fourth. Sign of the Future gets away in fifth. And it's Chris on Nuke sixth. Come back to the unluckiest horse in the world. Gun that won the West in seventh. In behind that one is Matt of the Hour. And we come back to two, Hidden Pass. And finally, El Diablo is tenth and last in a quarter of 28 seconds flat. Under the clouds with a bright light on the horizon. Hopefully, it is Jugular with a wing on every hoof coming out of the gate. Leads at a tight length, fully loaded. Rises back in second. Nuclear Menace's teammate in third. Three lengths to President Lee, who leads the charge out of fourth. And it's a sign of the future. Now here comes the gun that won the West from the back to pick things up. Going to face a long uphill climb. Getting his covers, Matt of the Hour. Then comes Hidden Pass and El Diablo. On the inside is Chris on New. At the half and an even 58 seconds, very user-friendly fraction, and Jugular leads him on to the back stretch of tight length, fully loaded, tugging away at the bit in second, Nuclear Menace is third, and the Menace now is the one to come after Jugular, fully loaded on the inside, two lengths more to gun that one, the West is picking up very, very steadily, three lengths to President Lee, at the three quarters and 126 and four fifths, around the turn, Jugular still holding tough, on the outside, Nuclear Menace, fully loaded, is going to have to head to the passing lane. The gun that won the West is going to be aimed out three wide. Is getting a little bit rough, and Pierce has to ease up on him. A come for home, up on top, Jugular. Here comes fully loaded, gunned up on the outside. Nuclear Menace, gun that won the West is doing better on the straightaways, but it's not going to make it. Who is fully loaded by a head in 155 flat? Back to Freehold's winner, Circle 1, fully loaded. Freehold Colt by Arts Place, had a disarm by No Nuke, some by Sharp, Pinsky, Fielding, and Heffering Stable. Gotten ready by Monty Gelrod, gotten home by Stefan Bouchard. Presenting again, Mr. John Tomasella. Going to the 13th and final, exacta trifecta, no changes. Last call in 13 at 4.50. Run down fully loaded the winner, Nuclear Menace third, Gun that won the West fourth, Hidden Pass sixth, President Lee fifth, Matter of the Hour.